My name's Tim Guest, I'm the Managing Director of a company called Infinite Wealth Australia and um, what we specialise in is financial education, so teaching people um, you know, some really basic stuff about how they can make a difference with their own financial situation, just doing some very, very simple things so that they can have the life that they've always wanted. Um, we also have a group of companies associated with that which helps people with the, the relevant specialties, i.e. property investment, accounting, finance, property management, those sort of things. So, uh, you know, it's great business, something that I love doing and I love helping people. All right. Uh, what I'm drinking is a, a good old Corona, so um, uh, yeah, I'm actually, I'm not a much of a beer drinker to be perfectly honest, um, I, I kind of tend to like my wine or my spirits a little bit more, um, and it's probably why I'm drinking Corona, you know, it's a very light, easy to drink beer, um, you know, not too heavy, um, so you know, especially on a nice, beautiful day like we got today, you know, it's nice to maybe knock back one or two. Um, look, one of my favourite places at the moment is a place called um, Pearl in Subiaco, uh, just opposite uh, the Subiaco Hotel there. Um, look, I just I really love the um, the environment there. It's a really stylish, cool little bar. Um, they make some amazing cocktails. In fact, um, Espresso Martini would have to be uh, you know my favourite cocktail there, and and they make the best one in uh, in WA. So yeah, you'll regularly find me there on a Friday night having a having a bit of a drink and catching up with some friends. My favourite restaurant in Perth is a Musée, so um, uh, you know it was, it's actually something I've only recently discovered. Maybe uh, I only went there earlier this year, um, and I was I was really surprised that I I hadn't heard very much about the restaurant, but um, it absolutely blew me away. Um, I guess. When I'm going, you know, I, I don't consider myself much of a, you know, a food critic. I mean, I, I, real, I do like really good food, but for me, what really makes a restaurant is the experience. You know, like the service, um, uh, they, how they make you feel by going there, you know. And, um, you know, I mean, I think we did a, it was a 10-course degustation with wine. And, you know, every single, um, every single course that came out was just an experience unto itself. And, you know, I had some foods that I never imagined that you would mix together and, you know, served in a way that I've, I've, I've never seen before. And I was totally blown away by the food. Um, and I loved, you know, like, I think throughout the night we had, you know, probably almost every staff member come out and introduce themselves and introduce the food and, and you know, it threw to a couple of the chefs at the end of the night. And, yeah, it was, it was really one of those nights where I left... Um, like it, it was an experience. Like it, it was almost like you know maybe like bungee jumping or skydiving or you know it was something that I'll re I'll remember for a, a very long time to come. One of the places that I rave about a, long, a lot of the time is um, is Jim Bar and Bay in, in Bali. Um, you know I, I've been to Bali quite a few times and and I love going out to those. Um, I, I don't even know how you'd explain it. Like, a, you know, it's a cafe. A lot of the places you see there, you, you walk through the front door and you look at them and you think, oh, my God, I'm not going to eat there, you know? And um, it, it is, without a doubt, some of the best seafood that I've, I've ever had in my life. Um, one of the things that a lot of Perth people are dealing with when it comes to food in Perth is the price. I mean, I think we deal with a, a lot of that stuff, you know, you know, not just in food, but in, in a lot of things with Perth, which kind of comes with the economic market that we're in. Um, but, you know, once again, you might go to somewhere like Sydney or Melbourne and find that you could, you know, you could get a meal for a, a half or a third of the price. Um, although I do think the quality of Perth food is quite good. Um, the, the thing that I'm always looking for, I, I, I don't know if it'll make, make sense, and talking to a chef, Brad, you, might, you <laughs> might, not, might not understand or might be a bit strange what I'm about to say, but I kind of noticed that, you know, most food in Perth, like there's, there's clearly exceptional food, but then for me there's, there's good food, and most places in Perth do make good food. And of course there are also places that make bad food, right, but let's not talk about them. I think what really sets a place apart for me is the service. Like, you know, the... Um, like I said about a, a, a museum, like the experience that you have when you go there, um, that is more so, I will go back to places where I feel at home, where I feel welcomed, where I, I feel they made a, a special effort to make sure that my night was great. Um, and I'll probably tend to go to places like that more than a place that didn't have that but had, you know, maybe food that was slightly better or a slightly better menu. So, yeah, it's, it's really the service that sets, sets it apart for me. 
Um, breakfast uh, at Tarts uh, in North Perth, and I'm not sure if you're fam familiar with it. Um, John and the team there, like, I just, I just, once again, it's one of those places I feel at home, you know. And um, you know, they've got a great menu. They do really, really good coffee, um, which is uh, which is very important when it comes to breakfast. Um, having a good coffee. So I'm, I'm regularly at Tarts, um, and another place that I regularly go to as well is the Must Wine Bar. In fact, that would probably have to be my, my second favourite place in Perth. Um, their duck there is just absolutely amazing. And you know, if someone at the Must Wine Bar is, is listening to this, there was I used to always have this argument with myself: Do I have the pork belly or do I have the duck? And then I went in there one week, and they were doing a special, which was a dish that had pork belly and duck. I highly recommend you bring that back because that was um, that was easily my, my favourite there. Look, I, I would have to say that, um, you know, the places that I really love going to, you know, um, I, I, f I really do feel at home, you know, with those people. Like, you know, I mean, John, you know, at, at Tarts, like I went in there a few times and he made a point to know my name and, you know, always come over and said hello and, you know, and I love that. And, you know, I mean, Pearl Bar, which I was talking about before, you know, Nick, you know, the, pl the reason why I love that place, Nick, who runs Pearl Bar and, and owns it, he, um, you know, made a point to get to know people, get to know his regulars and make sure that they always feel welcome. Um, you know, and, and that's what I, the places that I regularly go to in Perth, that's what I find everywhere. The, the, it's the, the effort that they make to get to know you. And that, that's what I love about Perth, you know, the people. Um, I wish I say that I. I wish I could say that I do. Um, I, I tell people, and um, this probably isn't true, but I tell people I'm quite a good cook. It's just that I never really cook. Um, I mean, particularly with what we do um, in the company, we we often find that we're working just like you chefs when most people aren't. You know, so. Um, you know, I have an evenings we're often working, which means I generally don't get home until late. And you know, I'm very lucky. I have a, an amazing sister that looks after me very well and makes sure that, that I'm always well fed. Or I am regularly, you know, eating out as well. So, um, so yeah, cooking at home is uh, it's a very brief conversation for me. <laughs> oh, if I had to impress someone, <laughs> Jesus. Um, Look, I, I, I do, when it gets cooked, I do cook a pretty mean stir fry. Look, here's actually what I'd like to see more of. Um, the, the thing that I find very difficult in Perth is not so much the food styles, but the fact that very few kitchens are open after 9pm. You know, I mean, we're becoming much more of a cosmopolitan city. You know, there's a lot more people living in the city. There's a lot more people that work late or, you know, there's a lot more people that work outside of what would be considered traditional work hours. And I think, you know, pretty much if you want to eat after about 9pm, you've got two options in Perth, which is Uncle Billy's in, in Northbridge or you've got the moon. And, you know, um, you know, while they have their pros and their cons, it's not exactly a great selection of food. So, you know, I'd, I'd like to see places that are doing, you know, whether it be tappers or, or meals, um, to a much later time here in Perth. The best, thing, the best place to find out about us um, is uh, at the Infinite Wealth um, website, which is infinitewealth.com.au, or we, we do a lot of stuff on social media, so you can check us out at our uh, Facebook page. Uh, just search for Infinite Wealth. Thanks a lot, Brad.